battery, which is theme park Basel with stuck in the dishwasher and Hola mi amigos! Tina and Baz from the show. Yay. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July. So we are in the Airbnb today. Join us. We're going to go into St. Augustine. We've got a ton of stuff to do today. Um, I'll put a clip up here. I think you sent me your itinerary. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so I'll put Tina's up here from the UK. We both bought these tickets. I bought mine in Expedia. Who did you get yours from? From the site of St. Augustine. We just put it in. Yeah. The yeah, actual, yeah, uh, yeah, the trolley tour thing. Yeah. 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 Bring all the things up. So basically, it's like a ticket thing you get, and you get um, access to all the different. Um, um, museums and things. You'll see a lot today and you'll see from that list that's up here um, what happened. I put a link up here to uh, yesterday's vlog. Uh, a little bit weird when we finished last night in the restaurant. We came out, there was nobody around, it was dead and everything was shut down at like 10.30. Yeah. We don't know if that's because yeah. it's 4th of July. Cause, but um, even when I look back at that bar it said it's normal closing hours are 9 and 10 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. But this place used to be party city at night so I'm not I sure know. what's happened. Anyway we walked back uh, today we have got packed. We need to follow all the rules for the Airbnb. I spoke nicely to the lady She's gonna let me leave my car on the drive till about 3 p.m. And that's the other thing because it's 4th of July Normally all these places we're going to today are open till 5 or 6 and they all close at 3 mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're gonna put a fireworks on and we did see on the road when we came up They had signs and they're gonna tow cars mm -hmm. yeah. If they weren't moved down near the bridge yeah. uh, a couple of learnings if you get an uber be patient because that one said it would be 18 minutes and it took nearly yeah. 50 yeah. And she, she got stuck at the bridge that we came over yesterday and apparently she said it can take half an hour if you get stuck there to get through the uh, get through the bridge. So we learned that. Two, I've been bitten twice since we've been here. So there's lo right. lots of mosquitoes. I don't get bitten. There's lots of mosquitoes around. So if you bring your repellent with you, if you're in the town and you're staying in these uh, rural areas. Apparently the mosquitoes don't have any taste because I haven't been bitten. You've been bitten? No quality, no, con no quality no. have they? No. Uh, next thing I learned is we plug the car in on 110 volts and it's taking about 20% charge overnight, which I'll take it. We'll have to charge on the way back. Next thing I learned is bring more extension leads because it wasn't long enough to reach. I got one in the car, but yeah. I had to borrow one of Baz's who carries an extension lead around with him, don't ask. Um, <laughs> so we, uh, when we get back from Amazon, I'll order another extension lead for my car and probably two for your car, Max. So you got enough length for those 110 volt um, things. Speaking of the extension lead, I couldn't plug my chair in last night. No? No. No? Oh, Not bring, at all? Bring a little electric chair with me. Okay, give you a shock. Just, just to recharge. Yeah, no, no good. <laughs> no good. That's why he brings it with him. So I'm going to take the, follow the rules, take the trash out to the car. And I'll show you where we've got it plugged in. And then um, we will get packed up. And we're going to take you to a very traditional local place for breakfast, aren't we? Yes. Local, traditional St. Augustine yeah. place for breakfast. Just for locals. Right. So, so we put the um, there, and then we run it down here, and down here, and through the gate. Oh, there's a train nearby. And to my car, and there should be some trash bins that's there, uh, around here. There they are. So time, time to stop the car charging and to uh, pack these cables away. All right, that's all the stuff packed away for our trip home. We won't have enough charge to get home but uh, it'll help. And there's peacocks all around here as well. Can you hear him? That's a peacock making its shout. Max and said she could hear it this morning. There it is. Look at it out here. There he is. Hello, peacock. Peacock's all in the house as well. Gosh, it's warm today. It's really humid. Right, let's go and get a... Uh, um, the wrong reason I picked this Airbnb is what, it's literally where we get on the trams and everything is five minutes from here and that breakfast place is five minutes from here so we can walk down. The, the tours start at 9am, it's now 8.45 so we'll go get some breakfast and then we will uh, go get on the tours. It's come to see us all now. So that's where we're going to be getting on the trolley, it's just been like a five minute walk down there and the jail's there and some of those other things and here's a trolley coming back. And then we're going to a very traditional um, St. Augustine place called Duncan. 
for a coffee and some a breakfast sandwich. So you can get a seat in here and have a nice uh, cool breakfast in the morning. Max has got a breakfast croissant, I've got a breakfast bagel. What do you guys got? Uh, bacon and cheese and egg bagel. What about the uh, sourdough sandwich? Oh, sourdough looks like that. I was going to have that. And we have got coffees to keep us going. So after breakfast, we've just come over to the trolley tours. If you buy your tickets online, like Tina and Baz and we did, you come to this ticket window here. Just scan your QR codes in, and they print out the tickets to go on the trolley. Things you've paid for. Things like the jail and some of the shops and everything are all around this area. Uh, Max has gone inside to buy a hat because she's lost a hat. She's found one in the sale. Good to Max. We bought some water from Dunkin' because that is the um, um, slightly cheaper than downtown. And also what we're going to do first is go down to the fort because it's a hot day and we want to get the outside stuff done first and then come back into the air conditioning afterwards. That's our strategy for today. So uh, these guys will get their uh, stuff from the store and we will jump on the trolley and join us as we head down to St. Augustine. So these run about every 15 minutes, so it could be a side delayed from here. There's another one, yeah, two come at once, it's like a buses, I don't know. Yeah. It's just one of them things, isn't it? Yeah. So basically you get in the back of here, we've got our stickers on that show we are entitled. Because we're very entitled, aren't we? Yes. And then... That's <laughs> a camera. Max has got a new hat. Oh, go on, you've got hats. You've got your new hat. We've got hats. Yeah. We've got hats. Because we forgot ours in the car. They also have the wheelchair access as well on the trams. Which is so cool. Which is really good. Yeah, we've got hats. Hats. We've got ours. Yeah. Uh, they did tell us last night, the area we were in, the reason it closes, there's an ordinance there, it has to close that early on that yeah. street. Yeah. If we walked a little bit further out to like the to the water or whatever, we could have got in the bar later on, but we didn't know. So that's why it was it shuts down every every night in that St. George Street area around there. <laughs> Bobaloo. 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 There's only one Bobaloo and I'm a he bopping he bopping. Oh, hey. <laughs> Have you escaped? No, I'm a trustee. Uh, That's right, I can't pass the trolley. Yeah. Uh, he never said nothing about hopping out. <laughs> <laughs> I still got my free drink stickers for town. So you're good. They don't expire by the time I leave, though. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing today? Good. That's wrong. Right. Three o'clock today. Good morning, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. My name is Camper. I'll be your guide for as long as you want me to be. No return, baby, on the summer night. The shot of love and the sparkle left to be. Starts the light and the month I'm not burned like a ground out leave. I will leave it on the next train, baby. I do believe. Come on. Right. So the trolley's going. We might get that. We'll, we'll get that later on to get back. Yeah. And then we're going to cross here and go over to the fort. Very informative. Um, lots of stops. So it took us like. It'd have been, it would have been about as fast to walk up here, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah, 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 but not as much fun. No, no. This is where we were actually were last night. Go back and check that vlog. This is where we actually walked down. And we're going to cross the uh, cross the road and I say, get this bit done. It's now 10, 10. Yep. And get this done before it gets too, too hot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the really effect fireworks, actually. Yeah. They're already getting the pots ready. For the fireworks. Yep. You don't need any chairs, do you? <laughs> well, wow. strange you should say that. <laughs> and on 4th of July, all the fireworks go off here, so those chairs are out because uh, everybody's going to have the staking out like here and put the tent up. They're all staking out the spots, even though it's only 10 o'clock in the morning for what will be going off at uh, 10 o'clock tonight, probably. Yeah. It's the trolley going back, the tram going back. Yeah, I think we may get the tram where we got off. Yeah, over there and then he said it's about a 45 minute loop to go round the whole thing That'd and nice so uh, 90 minutes he said actually the whole thing because he said uh, the last tram goes at 3 which means when it's at stop 17 it'll be 4.30 right. so yeah you might want to get on a bit further around depends how long you want to stay on it free US citizens and permanent residents free oh that's if you got a, a national park bloody hell we've got one at home oh, yeah we didn't bring it with us did we oh. So there you go, it's 15 bucks each. 
to go in. Don't forget your National Park Pack. So yeah, National Park Packs is free if you have that, and we have one at uh, home, don't we? Right, time for a kip. They're about as soft as the mattress you were sleeping on last night. Yeah. Well, the soldiers by the gate, aren't they? This is where you, all your, uh, the ones who had to respond quickly. Would be uh, kipping out. It's like they saw some British ships here and they were carving it into the wall when they were spying over the. Uh, for the, uh, I don't know, the British must have been here, wasn't they, to sell the ships? Yes, I know, but that's all in Spanish, that's We thought we'd come up the top first, well, it's uh, the cooler part of the day. So this is the, uh, obviously the cannons, huge cannons. This is a lookout in the top corner, I think. It's beautiful views. These towers are like the lookout towers. They're the most especially be sort of allocated to be in these all day old shifts. Keep a lookout on each corner. There's another one over there with a higher, taller tower. Oh, it's a bit narrow. You've had a big person in here. Oh, oh, it's quite small as well. Yep. They said the average height of a person around this time was four foot just um four foot six i think or four foot it wasn't even five foot four foot two i think so you'll find a lot of these things are very short and these windows are very short they're your size max in there i bang the head going in go on, max you go find it you get your size is that designed for people of your size perfect yeah i know don't need to you don't have to bend down do you nope oh it's nice and cool in here too you'd have to like stand here all day on shift keeping an eye out for the enemy Talking to the enemy, she's coming with some blue flags. Naughty girl. What are they for? Cooling towels. Oh, sweat towel things. Yeah. yeah. So you wet them. Yeah. You put them around your neck. Them. Yeah. Keep it cool. All right. Oh yeah. You've got some of those back home, haven't you? Somewhere. Yeah. Oh, Cooling yeah. towels. That, those, those are made for your size of person. Yeah. Ooh. I went in and banged my head. Guarding the back door. And that is the back door. What a beautiful back door to have. They have cannons out here, which have obviously well, they've got some left over that side, but they will just blast anything. Because you see, you've got they've all got to come across this straight to come in, so everything has to pass across here. That's why the uh, that's why um, the French were defeated because of the the fact that boats had to cross here. Even one of the staff here who dresses up in a local costume, we just passed him on the way up. So it's too hot today. He went to stand in the uh, he went to stand inside in the shade. So it is a really really warm day today. And look, they had a pizza oven. Uh, yeah. In the courtyard area, we've got to get around all these. Uh, there's basically one, two layers, and the third layer is the top. We had a bell up there. I used to yell and ring a bell um, for the siege up there, the top of that tower. That's what top it was. It was the bell tower up there to warn them of attacks. Max thinks this might have been all flooded over here because they got guns on this side. I'm like, why would they have guns over land? But this, at one point, may have been all water as well. Yeah. This is the wall of the castle, isn't it? The outer wall, you know. They got like a wall they got across, and they can shoot them. You've got a moat here. Yeah, that'd been the moat. You're correct. Area yeah. Would have been for just armed men. Yeah. Just Stand behind the wall. Like yeah. yeah. So up here would have been all the cannons. Yeah. All the way around. Yeah. Um, yeah. By having these little uh, areas all pointing in, they can make a kill zone. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. I was wondering why all these cannons were pointing towards the town. I said it didn't make sense, but Baz told me if um, the fort was being overrun, then what the Spanish would do is um, shoot into the town and destroy it, following the philosophy of I lose, you lose. And they would actually destroy anything that uh, the uh, invaders thought they were going to take as far as land or buildings. So these were all pointed into St. Augustine to basically destroy the city if uh, they lost. The, uh, the small ones are mortar, so it's higher, higher, like up and down, isn't it? Less distance. Yeah. And then you've got the howitzer, medium range, and then you've got the cannon, which is uh, destroys buildings. Range. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're, yeah. They're not just like built for yeah. purpose. They're, but these are probably for ceremonies as opposed to regular ah, business. Yeah. They probably have these for like when they're doing uh, special, special things. 
I think the regular ones would be more like these we saw over here with the black tar on and everything. And there's another kill box over the drawbridge if people are coming down to get into the... Oh, I should have a moat here. Even without the drawbridge down, you have like this kill zone for all the three walls here. Crossfire down there. So that we keep the uh, keep the um, in control. It's remarkably in good... I know they must have done repairs like these things. All these, these things have been repaired. But uh, the remarkably good nick is the building itself. I think they've put these wooden things in here just to uh, allow them to wheel the cannons in and out and stuff like that. But well, we're not in extreme danger yet today. Oh. Just danger. So this is a uh, toilet. This is um, what they call a tidal toilet. So they used to have a toilet where you'd sit on and then the tide would come in and wash everything away. And it was done. Very clever. And the guns. Oh, it's dark in here. Lots of caverns going back here. Yeah, so they kept the cannonballs and the gunpowder away from everybody else. And then there'd be a little shaft here to pass it through to the people who needed it on the other side. Here's a powder room. They kept all the powder dry and well protected. And that's again where they'd send it out to people. All the gold was stored probably. Yeah, the king's coffer, the treasury room where all the gold was stored. And now we've got a pigeon. Huge of these rooms, aren't they? Yeah. That's how it changed. Eh? Four soldiers. On those beds, yeah. Yeah, it was a bit different when the Less the Brits changed, took over. Ah, oh, so we had a second, like a extended up. Mm. So we could have, yeah, because that's why this has got a false roof in it. Like the one next door, because they put another layer on. Yeah. Ah. Brits turned it into a semi detached. Mm. So here's a map of the fort. This is the steps we walked up. And then we had all around the top, and then we're down here. In this corner now, and that's the drawbridge we came in, and where we paid us money to come in. And this would have been a moat at one time, as I said, an old float in. That's that pizza oven. We're going to go and check what that pizza oven yeah, is. Yeah, we're going to go see what that it is. what pizza oven is before we finish. So, we've been in there about an hour. We're heading off now. We're going to go and cool down with a drink and head towards the wax museum. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely worth it. A minimum kind of an hour to go around, but it's just uh, very hot. Just be aware it's extremely hot on a hot day because it's in the open, and we knew that. That's why we got here at 10 a.m. and not this afternoon. We're cooling off in a coffee shop just across the road before we go to the Potter's Museum, I think. Then we'll get on the tram all the way around and then we'll go back and do the museums at the other end, I think, that we need to take you around as well. And Max has got, Max has got a lemon cookie. What are you, what are you drinking there, Dad? It's bon bongo. Single bongo. Bang. It's called bang. Sour heads. Basically, it's um, nitrous infused orange juice. Sour? Oh no. Yeah. Really? Mm. Yeah. It's two for one. Yeah. You're getting two form deals, are you are in this holiday. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to leave there and go to the Waxworks Museum that these guys have got tickets for, which is a short walk. And I'll put up here, yeah, they are saying on the news now today is a hot, hot, hot heat index of 107, I think, here today. So we uh, did a good job of getting the things out of the way first, didn't we, this morning? It's warmer than that, it's already feeling 104. Yeah, it already feels 104. Not we're going to go down this way and then we're going to keep heading towards this uh, wax museum. That's Spanish vibe, yep. Getting the Spanish vibe, yep. Look at the wine bar. And sangria. You have to go left here, Max, when you get to end. This is the pub I talked about. That's quite near the... There's Potter's, it's just there. Where the red sign is. You can, uh, you can go in. Good morning. Good morning. If you want. Yeah, we can go in there. We're going to stay in here in the air conditioning while they go to the museum, which is just yeah. just down there, isn't it? It's a nice gift shop. Is it? It's got air conditioning. And it's got beer. What what more do you want in a bar? Looking at those photos, we'll go and check Tunium and um, Baz's vlog out, but they look to be really dodgy waxworks, didn't they? Creepy. Creepy. Yeah, Creepy well, no, they didn't even look like them, did they? Creepy. Yeah, yeah. So and once they do that, what we'll do is hop with, we'll catch back up with you, hop on the tour, give you the tour of the city, and then head back to the other two, I think, the other two, uh, three museums we have to do, yeah. Right, we just saw a tram going past, so we're going to try and get on it. It looked a bit full, but we'll try and get on it. Um, we're going to wait here for the next uh, tram to arrive. See if we can uh, see if we can get on. So that's pretty good. We couldn't get on the last um, trolley, and they rang up, and they've sent one down just for us to pick us all up. 
because, because we are VIPs. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> Did the job for us. Yeah. There was ten of us waiting, so they just sent a whole empty trolley for us. Yay. Yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> that's what you call service, isn't it? That is service. We're on the front of the back one? Yeah. Oh, we were last time? Yeah. yeah. Where the Spanish didn't use glass in their windows, their windows are basically a uh, window cutouts with one slat in them, designed to keep out people and large animals. But you can only imagine the amount of insects and rodents that would get in there. So what the Spanish would do for that is they would burn fire pits in their homes. Yeah. And at night, let the embers of that fire smolder, filling the house with a low-lying smoke that would keep out the insects and rodents. Just for her to come down on this railway so we can take care of Jenny Louise here. It's a bit like the Universal Tram Tour, isn't it? Unfortunately, yeah. he didn't get the opportunity. Sadly, she passed away in transit. Henry Schlager then built this church in their honor. Henry Schlager spent over $200,000 building this church out of his own money. It seats over 600 and took less than one year to complete. But today it's now the Villas Arena Museum and our next stop. Stop number nine on your map. That is King's greatest admiral who started the settlement here in 1565. Yalaha is seminal Indian meaning orange. And this is where the plantation was before the trees gave way to the free. Well, when I first came here, I asked them for a coke in my meal. They told me don't sell coke or Pepsi, so they made me a soda from scratch. No joke, everything is from scratch. Oh. Yep, but that's it. In the early 1500s, he was actually on the taller side of the statue, as the average Spaniard dead raised anywhere from four and a half feet to four ten. Okay. So at four to foot eleven, Don Juan Ponsleon was like the shack of Spaniards. Tragically, those two little girls lost their lives. Now, today, on the property, there's a swing set that people say they've seen on the silliest of days when there's no breeze at all, swinging on its own as the children were playing on it. Mm. It was that story that brought the TV show Ghost Hunters to come and do two episodes from the St. Augustine Lighthouse. So, if you're a fan of the show, you might actually recognize it. History Museum, which we have tickets for that came in as part of the deal, didn't we? we? Get some AC, and then we have the jail to do. I think things are only open like another half an hour, and they're closing early today, so we need to uh, leave yourself plenty of time for that shuttle. You're chucking it out, it's warm, isn't it? That, they can get a refill somewhere, like a cold refill. We're walking back through time with air conditioning. And what would Tina say? That's cool. That's cute. Cute. Okay. Building the fort. And they're saying on the tour that rock's a special rock that actually is like um, it will, it will if a cannonball hits it, it will sink into it um, and it would absorb it. So it's like a, it, it acts like a putty, like a soft thing. So what they used to do was people would fire that they bounce off it would sink in and then the Spanish would pull the cannonballs out and then fire them back at the people who fired them at them so the problem was it took 24 years to cure, cure, to cure did the brick because it was a very soft um, spongy brick Tina Turtle Tina Turtle Tina Turtle Florida there's a still for moonshine Florida soft shell crab now we're talking corn we're talking moonshine we're talking uh, soft shell crab Floridians are here and of course, don't forget the guns, pirates, all the swords and guns. Ahar, ahar, yar, yar. What the hell is that? A boot jack, cast in the shape of a bug, taking your boots on and off. I've got one of these for Christmas, Max. Put your boot in there. A boot jack. So you put, yeah, you put your boot in and you can shape like a boot. You heel your boot in that bit there and then you can get your boot off. Oh, of course. Yes, yeah. you go. Yeah. It's cute, isn't it? I like that. <laughs> That's cute. When you get old enough, you have to have them shoes, you know, with, with, the, with the shoe worn. You can have one of them in the house. Oh, What's the train out there? I think it's here off the track, so I'm not sure. There's one at the back. 
Wood. The little cows move. Do they? Yeah. Oh, look, cows oh, eating. Yeah. So there's ones down here as well. Lighthouse. Turn lighthouse on. We need that lighthouse. Hey. 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 <laughs> wow. I thought you were going to say that. And that, my friends, is the exit. That's the end of your museum. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going in the jail now, and this is a jail. I mean, it doesn't look like a jail because it's not designed to look like a jail. The original jail was actually downtown on that trolley tour I think we showed you. It was actually near the um, it was actually near the um, first hotel. So they moved the prison up here a mile and a half away from the other prison, and the reason it doesn't look like this is uh, Flag across from Flagler's Hotel. I think they paid him £10,000 to move it. Um, his railway ran up here, so he didn't want it to look like a prison, so that's why it's the first pink jail you probably see. And we're going around the back. We're not allowed the front door because we're not respectable. It turns on the trolley tour as well. They designed it. This is a prototype for, what do you call it, in San Francisco for, um, what's the prison? Alcatraz. Alcatraz. Yeah, this was a prototype for Alcatraz with these uh, rooms and design here. Um, Enjoy that? Yeah. <laughs> Over here is isolation. Put you in here anywhere between 3 to 30 days. There is no bucket in there, there is no mattress in there. You cannot see your hand in front of your eyes. Look how dark it is in there now. And there is white. You can see my hands, right? Yeah. Can you see my hand now? Yes? Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. What about now? No. no. Nothing. Imagine what this door closes. You see absolutely nothing. nothing. Once you're in there for up to 30 days, you start to go crazy. It's called sensory deprivation. And it is a bona fide psychological disorder. You really don't worry. So you can stare at what's waiting for you the gallows. Oh, wow. Not only that, they force you to watch other men get hung. And <coughs> 10 days before your hanging day, you have to build your own set of gallows. So you have to build the instrument of your death. Not only do we have physical torture here, we have psychological torture. Uh, Come on up. Are those real etchings? Yes. Oh. Those are people, remember I told you I said you had um, eight confirmed hangings? Mm -hmm. These are the ones that were not confirmed. We had no paperwork on them. But I have proof. If your name was on here, you were, you were in there. You're welcome. Right, we're back in the car. Do you enjoy that? That was Loved awesome. It. The jail thing was probably the best thing, wasn't it? It was probably the best thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was the definitely. Was... was good though, because you learned a lot. Yes, yeah. 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 Just went on for a long time. That was the only thing. Yeah. So we're going to head back down the road. We won't make it in one, so join us. We're going to eat something on the way down. There's some USB C chargers, I think, oh, there. Interesting, yeah. You can oh, charge yeah. your phone. So you'll see on here, if I put a destination in where the battery won't make it, it will tell me all the charging locations, and then it will also tell me. Um, how long I need to be there charging. So I put in the Rosen in Point Orlando. It says um, it's trying to get me at the Daytona one yeah. for five minutes to get me back home, but I need a bit longer than that, don't I? There should be the other one, which is the. Um, there should be the other charger, the one. Wow, wow. There. Which one? Well, the one before you get to the I-4. Okay, the car's charging, so we're going to go in and take these guys into their first Wawa. Which they've never been into before, and we'll get some, uh, we'll get some food here. Because the Wawa do some good food, sandwiches you can order from here. And there's usually a seating area that could be a little bit warm. We're going to go and sit in the car if it's too warm out. Right, well, the, all the seating areas are roped off outside, which is not bad, so we're back in the car. Got yeah, some yeah. Wawa, got these guys got to use a tablet in the Wawa. It's another 12 minutes until we're charged to 80%. That's good. And then we're, uh, by the time we're eating the sandwich, we'll be good to go. We started 24 hours ago, yep. yeah. and um, we drove through a few storms to get here, but we got here okay, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, I hope you enjoyed our, our two days yeah. of the last two yeah. vlogs up in St. Augustine. What do you think of St. Augustine? Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, definitely go. Yeah, definitely. It's beautiful. Yep, yep, definitely worth going. 
Probably when it's not quite as hot. I'm going to say we need to go back yeah, when it's cooler. Yeah. Yeah. Later on in the year, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned because we'll be back with these guys in another few days for a very special vlog in Hollywood Great. Studios. Maxine's yeah. birthday! <laughs> and your birthday! <laughs> thanks for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. Put your comments below. We do try and respond. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. And yep. we will all see thee later. Bye! Bye.